The floodlights are turned on over the boxing ring in the Palace of Sport. In the ten final bouts, six Italians take part. The light middleweight, Carmelo Bossi, is up against the American, Wilbert McClure. Bossi, with a shorter reach, tries to bring the fight into close quarters. But in the end, McClure wins. There are no doubts about the master of Giovanni Benvenuti, the welterweight from Trieste, whose ability demonstrates that boxing is, in fact, the noble art. Benvenuti teaches the finer points of this noble art to his rivals, welcoming them into the ring with the aplomb of a practiced host. As he demonstrates it, boxing is divested of any traits of violence. For a boxer of his class, Benvenuti is singularly careful with his being especially sparing with his right. Despite this care, none of them has so far succeeded in as much as ruffling his hair. In the second round, he beats the Caucasian mountaineer, Rudy Radonia. To this fighter from Trieste, winning an Olympic title is a mere formality, no different from his winning two European titles and hundreds of other bouts. The music of Francesco De Piccoli's style of boxing is scored for a dominant theme song of shattering violence. De Piccoli, a southpaw, leads with his right to open a way for his far more powerful left. In his final with Daniel De Becker, a South African from the Cape of Good Hope, De Piccoli throws a good left and takes the opportunity to follow it with a right. Another left right. The baker takes a count. Two, one, cut, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the knockout comes as a welcome relief. These are the medals won by the Italian team. A bronze for Saraudi, three silver medals for Zamparini, Lo Popolo and Bossi, a gold each for Mosso, Benvenuti and De Piccoli. And this is the smile of De Piccoli the boxer who is only frightened of his mother. The evening closes with the playing of the Italian national anthem. 